Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokona Man at YouTube with another 3D printing video. Today I'll be testing and reviewing Voxlab standard photopolymer resin. UV reactive liquid material that you add to SLA DLP 3D printers that reacts to a light source and becomes a solid model. This one's a little more expensive than the others and has its own indigenous brand of 3D printers, both filament and resin. It has a large plastic container that allows expansion without exploding, a foil seal and a plastic wrap in case of accidents in shipping, in bubble wrap and a box. The casing has some information and safety tips, storage instructions, no settings and I'm skeptical of some of the tips. Gave it a good 30 second shake and poured it into the tank. Uh, to my surprise, it has some gelatinous and solid debris. The pigment also has a strange texture. Bolting in the build plate and setting the tank heat band for an hour at a round toasty 35, 36 degrees. I did a large test print first with a standard settings with an additional two seconds of exposure time, third of the power LCD output and a very slow retraction time. The same I do for all of my prints and other tests. The first model is a Wargaming miniature, a large 40k tank tilted on the X and Y axis by 5 degrees, 10mm off the build plate with a generous amount of thin supports. In past with very good resins I would actually struggle and it would peel or fall off the bed but with correct heat it's been pretty good. This resin did not fail in any of these tips, but I did find this resin to be semi-transparent and very brittle. It took a little convincing to get it off the plate and the supports started cra cracking and disintegrating. It was promptly washed in isopropic alcohol and all chemicals are reclaimed for future use. The model was allowed to cure under natural sunlight for a few hours and found it to be extremely hard and difficult to work with. It did not have the softness or flex or easy break such as any cubic or Elgu resins. Same with cutting and sanding. Besides being incredibly rigid to the point that it's brittle and snaps and that there was some gunk in the resin, the print came out quite well. Some artifact and resin lines that you'll expect, but a little pronounced. Uh, besides that, if this was the only resin I could get my hands on, it uh, pretty much works out. The model is whole. Now, I also printed all of these Baby Yoda Grogu's for the finer detail and uh, miniature aspect, and the detail is crisp enough. No complaints on that front. This pretty much concludes the review. It's not a terrible resin and it is definitely usable, doesn't split, doesn't cause other dramas. From a scale modeler's point of view and if a bit of work is required, it is far from my favorite and there are cheaper and easier to work with alternatives. I'll be giving this a miss. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time, stay tuned for further content and we'll catch you guys later.